her car three times looking for debts and found nothing. She couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. I was sitting in the car and couldn't move, shaking like this. Have anybody ever been in a car accident? A serious one? Y'all know I ain't joking. And I couldn't move. And being a gentleman, I wanted to ask her, was she okay? But I couldn't move. I just looked in the mirror watching her. And so I just waved at her. And when I looked up, got myself together, guess where I was at? God brought my car down right in front of the church. Think about if I was going to do something wrong. I was going to do what I always did. We must pray. How I got to the church, you'll never tell me. I still wasn't satisfied. The Lord said, don't even go and pray today. Go on home. I was shook up. I went on home. God, you know, I sleep during the day. I worked at night. I always had a hard time. I never adjusted to that schedule. I got up before time. How many people know a miracle to make you get up and ponder it? I got up before work and drove down to the spot. I just couldn't believe what happened. And God is so faithful. Guess what I saw? God let, left the tire tracks to show me what he had did. The tire tracks was right there in front of the church. That's a miracle. Like I've never had in my life because I'm alive. God wouldn't let me go out like that. Satan tried to kill me, but God said, no, not so. You got to preach. There are some things in life God's going to prevent from happening to you because of the call that's on your life. Satan is after you to destroy you. God is after you to, to protect you. Somebody say amen. amen. And I'm alive today and doing well. But I always think about what I was going to do. That's the key. Pray. I was prayed up and God kept me up. Because when I ate that, took one bite of that donut, I went out just like that. And that was probably God then trying to tell me about diabetes. Okay? That's probably what he was trying to do. All right. God bless everybody. Come on, let's give Jesus a hand. Yeah. We got to go. It's almost 6.15. They'll be out there, trust me. I love everybody that's here. But God is a spirit. It was one of my points. Let's see who listened. Ezekiel. God is real. No. God is spirit. Well, that's, yeah, that's it. Go ahead. I hear another one. What's my second point? Either you were playing or you didn't write it down, or you were writing little letters to each other, or you just didn't listen. Second point is you cannot separate the father from the son. Third point was you must accept the son to get to the father. First point is God is a person, but not a flesh and blood person. He is spirit. So you write Ezekiel. Ezekiel, get an A. Come on, let's give him a hand. Let me encourage you, everybody in here, to read your Bibles on a daily basis. If you want to be, as past I'm saying this now, to the dancers, the royal family, if you want to be the best dancers, study your Bible. Start getting serious with God. You will dance like nobody's ever danced before. God can give you thoughts and moves that you never thought were in you. He can touch people's heart to clap for you like they never clapped for nobody else. We stressed at our children. You know, we have church before we get here. We have morning service. So they have a service during the week and twice on Sunday. We stress that they read their Bibles, that they pray. It'll change your life so that the very thing that you dance about it will, it will become a, 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 sta a staple of your life. You want to live out what you dance about because people are going to try and find fault in you anyway. And I just saw her down there cursing. Then she up there dancing. We don't want that to be said. We want people to say, she's a nice person. She go to your church? Yeah, oh yeah, we know her. She not the one up there in the class telling the teacher where to go. She ain't throwing airplanes across the room. She ain't trying to fight everybody. She got a nice personality. She not mean. She don't come in and don't speak. You don't want people saying that stuff, do you? You want people to say, you got a new personality. Amen? New personality is equal. Has God, Makai, and Corinne, and Michael. Nope. I want y'all to have good personalities from knowing that God is a spirit. Amen? Amen? God is a spirit, but so is Satan. 
There's only two basic spirits in the world, good and evil. How many people know who represents the good one? God. Who represents the evil one? Jesus. Satan. Jesus. Amen. All right. Let's get ready for the benediction. Anybody need prayer? Okay, we'll get ready for the benediction, and then we have to have a discussion, because we have had to order of what we're going to do. I said that earlier, we have to have a game plan. Who's going to do what? Amen? Father, we thank you for this word today. Let this word become serious to us, and dear to us, and near to us. Let us take this word home, and meditate on it, that it might change our lives. We thank you for giving me this word for all of us. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Now, um, Mrs. Royal says she's going to follow us. You have already told me that. Um, we're going to Okay. Thank you. All right. God bless you. Bro. That's closing now. How are you doing, Brother? First lady? Hi, Brother Mosley. How are you? Good to see you. Michael, pull out the ropes and need the Okay, ropes. Reverend. We'll see you. All right. God bless you. Okay, let's back the line up some. Yeah, let's back the line up. Real, 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 man. Get the you know y'all's all ugly, man. Okay. Right. Stay behind that line. I'll walk it over to you. Okay, I'm sorry we have to do it this way. If you won't be able to choose what you want, you got to thank you to do. Thank you. Otherwise, it's too much confusion.